How's it going, YouTube? Happy Friday. If it's Friday for you, it's, it is for me. I'm coming to you with another Friday night video, and I'm super pumped about this one. We're going to do Patti Smith's Warrior. Now, this is a song that I've mentioned uh, at least once in this segment. I, did it, I mentioned it several weeks ago whenever we did Rats Round and Round. Uh, and I love this song. Let me tell you, in the 80s, this came out in 1984 when Patti Smith was with Scandal. And it was a fantastic song, but an even better video. And in fact, I had a mixed VHS tape of videos. And this was one of the ones that was on there. I had Panama and Sledgehammer by Peter Gabriel and Warrior by Patti Smith. So I'm pumped to watch this one with you. I'm super excited. Uh, but before we get to that, just like always, I want to make sure that everyone subscribes to the channel, likes the videos, and leaves us a comment if you're so inclined. We sure do like to see the comments that you leave. Uh, also, the Like-Minded Lunatics channel has a lot of other content, so please check all that other stuff out. All right, so again, 1984, Patti Smith's Warrior. Now again, this is a great song, but the video, I think, is even better. <clears throat> and in looking this video up again, I'd seen this video a ton. Like I said, I had it on a VHS tape that I watched over and over. Um, but in looking it up for this segment, I was a little bit disheartened to learn that Patti Smith didn't like the video. It was shocking to me because I love this video. It's very weird. Um, but apparently she said that she was flabbergasted when she originally saw it. She said it looked like an off-Broadway production of Cats. Well, Patty, let me just reassure you, this video was very important for a lot of people, and I'm one of those people, so I'm excited to share it with you today. Um, the beer I'm going with, hopefully you're going to have a beverage with me to uh, celebrate the end of the week. We're getting locked down here in Austin, which we should have been for weeks, uh, so there's no going out. So it's just sitting at home, watching nonsense on YouTube, playing video games, and drinking. That's about all we have going on. Uh, so to celebrate the end of the week, I'm going to go with a Celis raspberry. I don't know if you can see that. Celis Brewery here in Texas. They were actually one of the first craft breweries. They got bought up by a big, I think it was uh, maybe InBev, the con conglomerate. And then they got their brewery back, almost went bankrupt again. And now I think they're, uh, they're, they're starting to pull out of it. So hopefully that's the case. But their beers are fantastic. If you live in or around Austin, you can get your hands on them. Try to get you one. I'm going with a Celis raspberry. So again, you don't have to have an alcoholic beverage, but um, share a beverage with me, whether it's alcoholic or not, to celebrate the end of the week. So happy Friday, everybody. I hope I don't mess up my lipstick. Does it look okay? I think it still looks okay. All right, good. All right, so again, we're doing Patti Smith's Warrior from 1984. It just occurred to me, we've done a lot of songs from 84. There was a lot of good music then. All right, we ready to go? All right, here we go. Let's do this. Oh, boy, look at those eyes. Right right off the bat. The music hasn't even started, and I am in. I'm in. Here we go. Woo! What a set of pipes on Miss Smith. Man, what a good way to start off a song. All right, now I'm not... All right, so I'm confused by a few things, and I always kind of have been. Number one, it looks like we've got uh, Maud Dib, Paul Atreides from Dune, as the, uh, as the lead uh, antagonist in this video, which is very weird. I don't know if he has been uh, snorting a little bit too much of that spice. I don't know what's going on, but it does look like Paul Atreides from Dune. Uh, the other thing that's confusing to me is the point of view. We've talked about point of view before, I'm not sure if Patty is talking to this guy, this this Maud Dib. I'm not sure, but she she says, "You run, run, run away. It's your heart that you betray, feeding on your hungry eyes. I bet you're not so civilized." I think she's talking to this gentleman here, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure, and as the video goes on, it gets more confusing. So, let's keep up. What in the world is going on? Let's go back and take a look at that. Good gracious. I don't know what's happening. So already we've got a warrior woman talking to a, who appears to be Paul Atreides from Dune. And now we've got, man, I don't even know. I don't know what this is. 
I I'm not sure. And it gets weird. What in the hell? Now it looks like we've got uh, Lovecraftian fish people. Is that what this is? Are these, uh, are these minions of Narlothotep? Is that who that is? I don't know. Paul Atreides doesn't know either. He's very confused. And now there's a fish person caught in a net. Oh, man. That's, okay, so that's one of my favorite lyrics of this song, and I was running my mouth over it. But uh, listen to it again. Oh, my God, did you hear that? It's so cool. And follow me, Stereo Jungle Child. Listen to it again. It's a great, great... Your captivity. Follow me, Stereo Jungle Child. What in the hell is a Stereo Jungle Child? I don't know, but even as a kid, I wanted to be one. I don't know what it is, but I, I like the sound of it. All right, now, now it looks like the minions of Narlothep are dancing with Paul Atreides from Dune. And are they, are they worshipping Paul Atreides? Or are they dance fighting? I don't know. I'm not sure which one it is. Holy sh... Oh, man, that guy just crescent kicked at Paul Atreides. Watch this. Here we go. Where's it at? Oh, inside crescent kick. It wasn't very good, though. It wasn't very good. But it was a kick. There's another kick. That's a, that's a shitty kick. Like, I, these guys have to be Broadway performers of some sort. Interpretive dance people. And we get this weak-ass kick. Looks like it's done from the guy from Autograph. Right. That one's bad. That one's worse. Whoa, we got a flip, though. Another flip. All right, now I'm very confused about who this is supposed to be. Again, uh, I like to analyze the lyrics. So, uh, Patty has been talking to someone. I've been assuming that it's Paul Atreides here, but maybe she's been talking to herself, and uh, she's trying to get her to, herself to break free? I don't know. But I don't know who this is. It almost looks like uh, Gozer's more feminine sibling, doesn't it? Look at that. All the bubble wrap. Uh-oh. Paul Atreides doesn't seem to like it. Oh, they don't care for it either, fish people. Oh, no! He just killed Gozer's sibling. Uh, fish people aren't liking it. Did, that person just did a backward centipede. Jason could do the best backward centipedes back in the day. You could get on his back and he would do it while you rode him like a horse. It's probably sharing too much, but he was very good at it. You were, Jason. Look at that! Backward centipede. And it's the centipede, not the worm, WWE. It's the centipede. Oh, full warrior! Yeah! <laughs> All right, looks like the final battle is coming up. Oh, boy. Oh, look at him. I don't know if Paul Atreides is going to make it out of this one. Better get some more of that melange, Paul. Now she's back. I love the warrior one, though. The, the warrior look. Look at that. Oh, what a great look that is. I wish my hair would do that. I tried to get it to. I even got uh, Aquanet and I, and I hairsprayed. And then I did the blow dryer thing like I used to do in the 80s. Still won't do it. Oh, oh, here it is. The final battle. What the hell? What? Who is this? We've got like... We've got like Beetlejuice's Blue Light Special Cousin. I'm gonna call him Beetle Drink. <laughs> Beetle Drink, Beetle Drink, Beetle Drink. 
There he is again. Hey, how is he scoring this? Is this scored like a uh, like a martial arts competition? Uh, I don't know. But it's on dance moves, I think. Ooh! Oh, Beetle, Beetle Drink didn't like that. He's got a cat move. Now you're going to get it, Paul. No! Now, now they're doing the baby move from Dirty Dancing. Oh, God. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Oh, why is he dipping her? I still don't know what's happening. Are they falling in love? Is he... Well, this is good. Like, he appears to just be... He, he has stopped fighting now. And uh, he's just enjoying Patty, Patty Smith singing. I mean, to be fair, as we all should. That's all shut up. Good ending. Look how sassy Patty is. Man! That's the 80s right there, folks. Oh, look at Paul. He's catching her now. Did they, did they, did they come together? Are they a couple? I don't know. I feel like the warrior doesn't need Paul Atreides at this point. left with smoke oh man what a good video did you guys enjoy that i know i did i love this video this is one of my favorite videos of all time it's a great video fun video um interesting fact um after david lee roth left van halen eddie van halen almost hired patty smith to replace him so instead of van hagar we almost had van smith how awesome would that have been i kind of want to see that and if you go to youtube you can actually find audio recording of uh eddie playing lead guitar on Warrior with Patti Smith at the Hollywood Bowl, which would have been, man, I don't know if I could have, I don't know if I could have contained myself if I was, if I was in that crowd. Wow, what a great video. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed your beverage. I hope you had a beverage, had, get something in your system to start off this weird weekend where we have to lock down again. Hopefully everybody's keeping themselves safe. Again, make sure you like the videos. Please subscribe to the channel um, and uh, have yourselves a good weekend. And, and, and please be safe. Please don't listen to the dum-dums who tell you you don't need to wear a mask. You, you, you need to wear the mask. It's just a piece of cloth. I mean, you wouldn't go around bare-ass farting on people. So don't go around bare mouth breathing on people. It's the same thing, folks. It's the same thing. I would argue the bare-ass farting might be better at this point. I'm not sure. I'm not a doctor, uh, but uh, I feel like it's probably safer. So please wear the mask, be safe, and I'll see you next week.